Am I the a-hole for being upset that I'm not involved in my brother's wedding which I am paying for? I, 31 female, have a brother, 29 years old, and he is getting married next year. We lost our mom in 2012 and our dad in 2016. We are each other's only living relatives. I have a good job. I earn a lot of money, like £150,000 per year. My brother also has a good job, but doesn't earn anywhere near as much £35,000. We were raised to always look after each other and share. My partner and I are child-free. Over the years, I have paid for my brother's master's degree, paid the down payment on his house, our parents rented, so there is no family home. I will also be paying for my future sister-in-law, 26 years old, and my brother to have future rounds of 5VF. Sister-in-law works part-time and earns about 15k a year. Her parents are not well off. My brother asked if I could contribute to the cost of the wedding. I said I'd pay for it as it is small with 100 guests and set up a wedding account for them into which I put 25,000 pounds which they both have access to. Sister-in-law's entire family are involved as bridesmaids and groomsmen. My husband and I are guests. Brother and sister-in-law have been going around venues with her family. And I get emailed to costing if it's selected. I told my brother I don't mind paying for the wedding, but I feel really weird that everyone else is involved in the decision and I'm just involved with paying. Brother has said that I'm not our parents. I can't replace our parents and that's why I'm not involved. Why can't I just do something nice without making him feel shit? I feel like an asshole of causing drama, but also feel taken advantage of. Am I the a-hole? Update. This is in the UK, in Northern Ireland to be exact. 35k is a good salary. I don't have student debt to pay off because I didn't go to university. I was in the military before becoming a commercial pilot. My brother's salary will increase as at his company. He needed a master's to progress beyond his current rung. Sister-in-law works part-time because she has a medical issue. She will never be able to work full-time because of this. Related, it isn't clear if this is impacting fertility. In Northern Ireland, you get one round of in vitro fertilization on the National Health Service which they get. They paid for two more at 8000 each. Sister-in-law family paid for another and stipulated they won't be able to afford to pay for a wedding if that was the case. Brother and sister-in-law have been emotionally through the ringer with fertility issues. It isn't a cynical attempt to get money. For all of y'all talking about adoption, there is some serious BS about sister-in-law's illness, meaning they aren't attractive candidates. I am close with my brother, but do pay for things we do together. He has really been there for me emotionally, especially during some personal problems I experienced just before and after I left the military. Future sister-in-law was too. They didn't plan the engagement party. Sister-in-law's family did and they didn't invite me because my husband and I are never available. We just have jobs that have us moving around a lot. Sister-in-law and brother were horrified. No one told them we hadn't been invited. They assumed we just didn't show up. But that was resolved and we had a lovely meal together instead. My husband is supportive of our financial assistance. We are also helping his sister with her college costs. Though why she had to go to the US when we have university educations that don't cost an arm and a leg right here is beyond me. Also, any of you who have paid your way through an American degree, I salute you. I still don't know what to do.
but I do think maybe I'm not setting him up for success as I hoped. And also that I do deserve more recognition even if it's just privately from him. We'll keep you updated. Top comments. You're not the a-hole. You are not his parent, but let's face it. You have certainly financially supported him like one in so many different ways. And it doesn't sound like you are trying to control things. Just want to be included the same as sister-in-law's family has been. Now that he is going to be a great big married adult, I think it is time you cut off your support and let him be the independent person he is. Edit. Wow, thanks for the awards. Another comment from Sufficient Stage 489. I don't think you should even pay for the wedding. If he's behaving like this now, he'll just cut you off and contact again when he needs help. So, not worth of your effort and money. Not the a-hole, obviously, but he is a major A-H. Another comment from Molo FLA. I disagree. It's just straight up disrespectful to take 25,000 pounds from your sibling for your wedding and make them feel like shit for wanting just to be as involved as the other side of the family. That is a massive amount of money in Northern Ireland where OP is. The least the brother could do is be respectful in return. Another comment from Nick Zero Cami. This. You're not the a-hole. He wants to cut you out of even being involved. Then he doesn't need your money. He has it right. You are not his parent. So stop acting like it. He is an adult. He can worry about his own finances. Another comment from Rika the GSD. Having made a commitment to pay for the wedding, backing out would be no a good move. Especially as there was no discussion of what involvement OP would have. To impose retrospective conditions is not fair. However, going forwards, OP's sibling is not entitled to anything. I hope OP hasn't actually promised them anything concrete about the IVF. Here's another comment from Minky Mink. OP isn't a safety net for her brother. She has become a big, warm, cozy financial. A blanket that he won't want to get out from under. That financial blanket is now also covering sister-in-law and her family. She has taught her sibling to never fend for himself. Instead, turning to sister to finance his life. He feels entitled, and why not? She has taught him to be exactly that. IVF? Why? When they apparently can't finance the basics themselves. Why facilitate bringing in a very expensive child to raise? He's a big boy now, sis. Time to put financing your brother's life to a halt. Teaching him and sister-in-law how to be financially helpless doesn't do either of them any favors. Here's a comment from Similar Minimum 185. 25,000 pounds grand for a wedding is ridiculously expensive. They could get married with a good ceremony for a couple grand. Why couldn't they have a smaller wedding and use the rest towards IVF? They seem like the more that gets offered, the more they will expect. I would feel ashamed accepting that amount of money to blow on one day. Surely, IVF is more important than a one day of celebrations and a piece of paper ring. But I suppose priorities don't matter if you have someone willing to pay for everything you want regardless of price. 